All right. Here we go. Quiet. Problem. The Mandalorian was directed by Dave Filoni and stars Pedro Pascal as the Mandalorian and Carl Weathers in this episode and is written by John Favreau and created by John Favreau. But to be honest, when they first announced the Mandalorian, I wasn't really that hyped for it. Like I saw it as like it looks cool, but I wasn't like, oh my god, the Mandalorian, like a lot of people were. And then when I saw it, now I got really excited for the series because I'm gonna say this is a really great episode. I'm not gonna spoil anything for anybody who hasn't seen it yet, but this is a really great episode. The way it sets up the character, it's a nice and simple story. You know, we meet with the Mandalorian, he's a bounty hunter. We go we see him do a few bounties in the first episode, and which was nice. It was a nice simple, you know, tale. They didn't go overboard. And the way they built the world in the episode was really nice. You really feel it's like after the return of the Jedi, like when you see the stormtroopers, helmets, you know, and spikes and everything. So I really liked it very much. And the character's very interesting. You know, he's very quiet and badass. You know, it's like very, there's a lot of mystery in the character, which I like, you know, which they build up in the series for. I like the plot. I like the setup in the world's different. I like Carl Weathers was also great. I wish he would have more screen time, but I, maybe he will later on in the series. But he was interesting and everything. One thing I'm really give props to is to John Favreau and Dave Filoni you know who created this because this looks beautiful I mean really beautiful the cinematography is beautiful all the costumes the practical effects are beautiful you know this great CGI everything just looks so good and everything looks so real you know it's because a lot of practical they have a lot of puppeteering and it looks just amazing when it comes to the landscapes you know to the characters to the beast it just looks beautiful and amazing I can't get enough props for that and as far as like the story goes like i said in the first episode we see him going a few bounties uh which is really fun and then he goes on this one other bounty where he meets the 8080 you know the cool droid bounty hunter which is also a cool shootout at the end and there's a very cool reveal to a species that we all know and love in star wars when i saw that i was just like oh damn that was really cool that wh whoever did that that was a really smart idea and it, it sets up the series in a very interesting way like the way the builder at the end when you get this final reveal of you know of this species it goes for it's really cool it's very interesting and it just really sets up the world and get me more excited for it but like i said Pedro pascal is great as the mandalorian as far as like negatives go there are some like flashback scenes you know during the episode and the way they show them is like kind of in a messy way you know there's like one scene where the mandalorian goes to this place to get some piece of armor like the shoulder pad and every time like the other person hits he gets like flashbacks of explosions and it's just told and just shown in a very messy way i think they you know if they would show the flashback of him being younger i wish they would like you know just show the flashback of him being younger and then you know and then show it but the way they showed was sometimes messy and they showed it two three times in the episode which i think was a little unnecessary they didn't need it that much and as far as other things goes like the beginning can be a little bit slow I must say maybe for some people, but other than the few flashback aspects of the episode, I really liked everything else. I liked the action, the setup, the world building, and I'm excited for the new episode that's about to come out. Now, I don't know if I will review every episode now. I will see if the, episode, if the second episode is really good, and I feel like talking about it, I will. But I really prefer, you know, talking like about the whole season. That's why I prefer to talk once the whole season's done, then you can really like examine, okay, how the series went and how the series is. But I will see if the episode two has some bad shit, crazy shit going up, then I really will finally see it. And also I must say, I do, this is like my kind of, this, is not, this has really nothing to do that much with the show, but it's just like, Everybody, but I do feel like this Mandalorian show was actually supposed to be Boba Fett. I mean, because if you look at the Mandalorian, he looks exactly the same. You know, he has the exact same original weapon as Boba Fett in the cartoon when he first appeared in the uh, 80s. So it's like, because what I heard with the rumors were like they had the Boba Fett movie, but it was canceled and they took like the script and turned it into Mandalorian. What, you know, ideas they took from the script and took in the Mandalorian. Which I can see, but I, to be honest, if it, if this would be Boba Fett, I think that would be even more awesome. But, you know, Disney has, like, still this problem with George Lucas. Like, you know, when Disney used the, his legacy characters, they have to pay George Lucas some type of money. That's why they keep killing all everybody in the sequel trilogy. But, like I said, I like The Mandalorian. Even though I could see this was supposed to be Boba Fett, I think this series would be even more awesome as Boba Fett because I don't think Boba Fett should have died in the Solok pick like a little bitch. 
That's just a little my little complaint about it. But overall, The Mandalorian is a fun show. I really like that. I'm going to give this episode a 9 out of 10. I really like The Mandalorian. Now, go check it out. Go get Disney Plus or whatever. Let me know what you like about The Mandalorian. And thanks, everybody, for watching. And as always, see you next time. What?